Hey guys, The Simple Student here and welcome to episode 13 of Java Programming for Beginners. Last time was quite a complicated video but we're going to keep using the same concept and you'll get used to it eventually so don't be worrying. Today we're going to look at instance variables and let's get straight into it. So we have our two classes here again that we were using the last time, car and bus. We're going straight into the bus class and this is the one without the main method. And first of all, the first thing we're going to do is make a private string. And we're going to call this pet name. Okay. And this is what an instance variable is. That's not a capital P by the way. So this is what an instance variable is. This is a variable that can be only used or accessed in the bus class. So only methods inside the bus class are able to use or change this this pet name variable. Okay, so we have to make some methods to use and even initiate the value to this variable. So we're going to say public void set name and we're going to take an input called name. Okay, and inside this we just have to put pet name equals to name so it's equal to we're gonna whatever someone passes into this method is going to become pet name and that's all we really have to do inside that method okay so now we're going to make our second method and this is going to be called get name so this is going to return the name of the pet to the user so we're just going to say public and this time we're going to say string here i'm going to explain that in a minute I'm going to call it get name. And we don't need to put anything inside those brackets this time because we're not return we're not passing anything as an argument. Okay, and all this is going to do is return pet name. Yeah, okay. So why is this string now and not void like this? Well, because we're returning a string to the user. Okay, and you'll understand it all in a minute. This might all seem a bit complicated and unnecessary now, but all will be explained by the end of the video. Okay, so we just have one last method to make, and this is going to be a message method. So we're going to say public void message. We don't need anything inside those brackets because we're not passing anything to this. And we're just going to put a system.out.printf statement in this this time. Okay, so we haven't used these yet, but we need to use it in this instance. So inside this, we're just going to say your first pet was called. Now, this print f. Basically, what this can do is you can use a method inside the print statement. So you can say your first pet was called percent s. And now after this. It's going to look for what the percent %s was, so we're just going to use this other method we made called getName. And brackets after it. And that's it. Okay, I'll just clean this up a bit now. So we have our three methods inside our bus class. Okay. We have set name, which is going to set the name of this variable. We have get name, which is going to return the name to the user. And we have message, which is going to put this name inside a message. That's all it's really doing. So now we can go back to our car class. Okay, so as you can see, I'm using a scanner again. I've already imported the library, so just go ahead and do that. And we're just going to make our scanner object again. I'm just going to call it user input equals new scanner system dot in okay so we've made our scanner and now we have to again make a new object of the bus class so we're just going to say bus bus object equals new bus okay so we've made our scanner object in our bus object 
Now again, we're just going to print out a message to the user to tell them what to do. Dot print, and then we're just going to say enter the name of your first pet here. Okay. And now we're going to make a new string variable. And we're just going to call it name pet. And this is going to equal user input dot next line. Okay. So now what do we have to do? Now we're going to call some of the methods inside our bus class. And we're going to use the bus object to do that. So the first thing we're going to say is bus object dot set name and again it knows the method inside the bus object so we're just going to equal plus that and what we're going to pass into this is name pet okay so now if we run this now all that would happen is it's going to get a name from the user and it's going to pass this name into this set name method and pet name is going to become name but it's not doing anything else so then we have to use this message method okay so we're just going to say bus object dot now as if we look through these we're able to find all our methods if you can't remember the name of it so we're just going to say I know it's method so I'm just going to say message and we don't need any arguments in this Okay, so we're going to run this now and see. Enter the name of your first pet here. The name of my first dog was Scooby. So I'm just going to say Scooby. And it's printing back. Your first cat was pet was called Scooby. Exactly. Okay, so this is doing exactly what we wanted to do. Again, I'm just going to run through the whole thing again because it's quite complicated. Right. So to start off, in our bus class, we're making our instance variable. Okay. Instance variable means that this cannot be accessed by method, a method in a different class or a different class. It can only be accessed by methods in the same class as itself. So it can only be accessed by methods in the bus class. So that means we have to make a method to set the name of this variable and we have to make methods to use it. So we're making a set name method, a get name method, and a message method. Now, did you notice in this we didn't actually call the get name method from this main method class? But technically we actually did because when we called the message method, this message method uses the get name method to input it into this message. Again, things are getting quite complicated, but if you try to keep up and watch every video, you're going to do great. Next time we're going to look at a thing called constructors. This has been The Simple Student, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.